In this video, we'll make a quick sketch of the basic sine graph y equals 2 sine of 2x. This template will help guide our sketch. We have the general form of the equation for a basic sine graph and all our steps below. So in step one, we find the essentials starting with a or the coefficient out in front of sine. So in our equation, that's a 2. So this is the value of the amplitude or the distance from the midline of the graph up to a maximum or down to a minimum. So that's going to help us set the y coordinate of our maximum and minimum key points in step two. So we'll save that. b is the coefficient of x. We see in this case it's also two and that helps us find the period of our graph or the length of one horizontal cycle. Use that formula 2 pi over b. So 2 pi over 2 gives us pi as the length of one horizontal cycle. Now we're going to set the horizontal scale for our graph and we're going to do this very intentionally. Take your period and divide it by four. So pi divided by four, of course, is pi over four. And we do that so that each of our key points in the next step aligns with a horizontal tick mark. So let's go ahead and label our horizontal axis for one cycle. Moving to the right of the origin, our first tick mark is going to be one pi over four. Then two pi over four is the next one. So that simplifies to pi over two. 3 pi over 4, and then 4 pi over 4, or pi. And so that fourth tick mark to the right of the origin should always match your period when you set it up like this. Now for your vertical axis, for your vertical scale, look at your value of a. Usually one works really well here. This will show that distance from midline, which is just our x-axis in this case, up to a maximum or down to a minimum. So we'll label up to 2 and down to negative 2. Now we're ready to plot our key points. So the sine pattern is 0, 1, starting at the origin, maximum, 0, 2, minimum. So let's plot our first 0 at the origin. Our maximum will happen at that first horizontal tick mark to the right, and we get the y-coordinate by just looking at that value of a. So it is going to be a value of 2. The next horizontal tick mark moving right gets 0, 2. And then the next one, 3 pi over 4, gets the minimum. And so to get this y-coordinate, just take the opposite value of a, or negative 2. All right, so now all we have to do is sketch in the sine curve. So start there at the origin, sketch in the sine curve. It would start repeating at pi, so you could repeat for as many cycles as you need. Before we go, just a quick follow-up on that amplitude value. So here's the midline of the graph, thinking vertically. And then you can see that the distance up vertically to a maximum is two units or down vertically to the minimum is two units. So hopefully that helps you understand the concept of amplitude a little bit better. And then again, remember we said that the period is pi or the length of a complete cycle of sine. And so you look here, trace that full cycle of sine horizontally that's between zero at the origin and pi. Hopefully this helps you feel very confident in making a quick sketch of a graph like sine, um, in this case, two sine of two X. Subscribe for more help with all kinds of graphs and other math tips. Thanks for watching.